Howdy arty aliens and welcome. I'm Paul Yatesman and I draw stuff. For today's drawing, I am having another bash at a self-portrait in an anime style. This time I am drawing in a style not dissimilar to Peter Chung, who is the Eon Flux artist. I am almost at the end of my hashtag manga challenge month. Next month is likely to be hashtag Tim Burton challenge month. I did not video the blue pencil stage as it took a long time and involved a fair bit of character development. The photoshop stage was tedious as my computer kept crashing. After updating some drivers, unplugging my NT52E and running a system file check, it has been stable though I saved my progress very very regularly during the rest of the drawing creation. And considering I changed three things, who knows what the cause of the blue screen of death was. In between this video and my previous one, one of my cats pulled my tackle box containing my drawing supplies off my table, broke the box and scattered stuff everywhere. The 0.6 fine liner I bought not less than two weeks ago seems to be the only thing still missing. This means I am in the market for a new tackle box and probably another fine liner. Um, since I bought my tackle box in 2010 for $14, I think the range and quality of all these items appears to have really tanked. For example, the $16 replacement I bought isn't up to scratch, so I probably lost 16 bucks. I might turn that into a toolbox for my on-the-go cycling goodies. Anyway, back to the drawing. After inking the piece, I moved into Photoshop and lost about 10 minutes of work about three times due to the blue screens of death. I seem to have alleviated them by updating some drivers and a system file check and unplugging my USB device and I managed to finish up without any more computer crashes so yay there. Regarding the hair on this dude, I think the sideburns in this drawing make the cheekbones a bit too obvious. All prominent, so I might ditch them if I take this character further. I could probably have rearranged where the sideies go and maybe have them on top of the cheekbones, but anyway. As I've said in previous videos, I'm learning. With Peter Chung's style, his adults for the most part have elongated faces and really large upper bodies. If I was to take off the coat you see here, the legs and hips would be about a half to maybe four sevenths the width of the shoulders, and not the one to one ratio and accurate anatomical drawing of a male would have. Though I used a 0.2 to ink this, I think a 0.1 would have worked better, especially for the face. I also reckon I could have thickened up the overall outline. I did add a stroke to the image in post-production Photoshop off the video we see here, uh, and that pretty much did the same thing as thickening the outline. Recently, I've been looking for a Photoshop pen, and by pen I mean brush, that emulates a fine liner, and I might build one as I'm not happy with the default brush I'm currently using. Uh, saying it's default, it's not actually default. I did modify it with pressure sensitivity, as I'm using a Wacom Intuos from 2010, which has a pressure sensitive pen. I think I need a bit of scatter to emulate the paper texture though. I could trawl through the brush archive I have on my hard drive to see if there's anything suitable, uh, but that would probably take months as there are hundreds and hundreds of brushes that I've collected off cover discs over the years. And I think it'd be a hell of a lot quicker just to load up a YouTube video, follow a tutorial, and create my own pen. I think my colouring in Photoshop is getting better with regards to workflow. I'm using paths to map out various elements and then colouring in on the single layer but keeping in mind what is on top. My shadows and highlights are pretty stark. That being said I'm making no attempt to blend any of them and that's okay as I worry about refining them in the future when I worry about doing highlights and shadows in quotation marks properly. It seems my sketchbook tour I posted earlier this week is popular, well more so than the rest of my vids. 12 views in a couple of the days is pretty good, woohoo! The slideshows I did of my old drawings separated into genres were pretty much a flop so I might flip through maybe one sketchbook a week. As I'm doing that I'll create an index page in the back of each book so I can find the stuff in physical form. Like my online filing system is pretty good, but physical form wise, I've got no idea what's in what book. Hmm, a quick look in my cupboard shows seven completed sketchbooks. Maybe a tour a month would be better, sort of 
brace them out a fair bit. While I'm on a Peter Chung kick, I found something called Reign of the Conqueror, which is animated by the Chungster. This is good as it provides more resources and inspiration. What I'm really interested in at the moment are good clear full body shots of both the male and female form and there seem to be a few of this in the other cartoon. You may have noticed I've been drawing mostly heads as part of this month's challenge. Today is a slight departure with the upper body and hips. Ideally by the end of the challenge, of which there are only two days left, I'll be trying to draw full bodies. Yes, I drew some full length bodies on day 2 and day 10. They were more your typical human forms. I want to do something really stylized and the Chung style ticks the boxes here. With today's drawing, I wanted to clothe my character in an Eon Flux style, so I gave the dude a long flowing coat and added some flourishes similar to those found on males in the cartoon. I did not give the character a shirt and originally I was thinking of having it rubbing a nipple. That would have been fine with YouTube as male nipples are A-OK! -okay. The coat is meant to be leather and rather than do a black leather coat, my experimentation led to the green one which I settle on. The pants are blue for no other reason than that's a random choice. I have chest hair, the character does not. And I can't say I've ever noticed a human Eon Flux character with anything other than hair on the head. Sadly, a year of COVID-19 has me not so buff as I used to be, so I've got to live that vicariously through self-portraits such as this one. When it comes to adding the background, I select a photo from my personal collection of industrial scenes. I am yet to find a good way to turn a real image into a cartoony one. I am sure I can do that in PaintShop Pro with the Solarize filter, but in Photoshop I have never found a filter I am happy with for this purpose. So all I do is blur the background, tweak the colours a bit and that's that. For the final image shown in the screen capture process, the eyes are red as the background is red. This is because the eye whites were the background colour. Adding in a background image gets rid of the background colour. I fixed that up after making this video. I also lightened the background as I felt it was a bit dark and I also added a stroke to the outline of the selfie to make it stand out a bit better from the background. So what do you think? What would you do for a self portrait? Can you do better than me? Probably. Anyway, show me! If you found this interesting, informative, entertaining or you got ideas for your own sketchbook or were inspired to draw etc, subscribe, like and share. Until next time, you've been watching Drawing Stuff with me, Paul Yateman. Ciao, take care, and happy drawing!